ladies and gentlemen, Zach Lucas, Bill Dalton Tackett, and Skeezy. <laughs> Ghost pilot. How y'all yeah. doing? We're doing pretty good. We're doing? Yeah. We're here. Yeah, good to see y'all boys. It, it's been a while. Basically a year at yeah. this point. I mean, from Halloween to Halloween. And it's basically yeah. been a year since we released anything. <laughs> Dude, I gotta say, though, I, I, I love the Every Word song. It's so cool, man. And, and the cowbell. <laughs> yeah, bro. The, the cowbell adds so mm-hmm. much, man. That's my favorite part of the whole song, even though it's just ding, ding, yeah, ding. Yeah. I like three hits. Oh, like, it. Yeah. oh, it just, I look forward to that part of the song every time mm-hmm. I listen to it. So, with, with this album, are you going to have more cowbell? Yeah. Do, do, yeah. do you more have cowbell. a fever? We, have more and, and we actually have okay. talked about it. <laughs> the cowbell is such an underrated instrument. <laughs> I know, especially dude. for a punk band. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I didn't even. I just added that randomly. It, it's cool though, like like when it fits, you know, like, yeah. like, like when you have an off the wall mm-hmm. idea like that, and it works out. A cowbell just makes makes the song groovy, you know. <laughs> it does. We well, yeah, um, actually, a lot of this album, I, I said we're a punk band, but a lot of this album isn't punk stuff at it's, all. <laughs> that that's like. That one name that that we had come up with, that's why we chose that, because it's kind of a new look. It's different. Mm. It's, I don't know what it is. Like, there's one or two kind of punky songs, and then there's some grungy stuff and some classic rock stuff and some really sad stuff. (laughs) I I, I dig it, though, man. I I like it when artists kind of gets out of their comfort zone and just does some off-the-wall stuff. That's like the Ghost Pilot brand is... So, so, so uh, the album name <laughs> for the people. For, yeah, we were talking b- before we hopped on air. We still don't have an album name, but we're here to figure it out. But by the time this is out, we it will we will have a official name. Yeah. But uh, what, what were y'all? What was the one that y'all mentioned there the just a second ago? Latin one. Yeah, the Latin Novus Veltus. Cool Means name. new look. It's new look in Latin or the new look. If you don't use that, that needs to be like something down the road. That's cool, man. We might use that one. That's because it, it does. Our it does fit. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we, we were we were looking and, and thinking of stuff last night, and um, well, avant garde. You know, mm-hmm. what what's the the actual dictionary meaning of that? Is you know being experimental, changing things up. So we thought about that one too, but I think Novus Voltus is slowly winning over everything else. It's a pretty cool name, man. And, and there's something about Latin. You know, like, yeah. like, like I, I don't know what it is about that. I guess it's a language. I'm stupid. Yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's a language. But I don't know, man. There's something like creepy and romantic about it. <laughs> that's, it's it's a romantic much, language. Yeah, that's pretty much what Ghost Pilot is, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, creepy, creepy, and creepy and romantic. Creepy and sexy. Yeah, yeah that, that's man. Ghost Pilot right there. That's right. what people say about me, man. <laughs> creepy and sexy. What is it? Latin. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Latin is a language that has like two words for love and like 47 for death. Mm-hmm. For real? There's, there's a crazy amount of words for death in Latin. It's What's wrong with Latin people? Hey, you know, some of them, you know, like some of those like countries are weird, though, like how they because a lot of people don't look at death the same way that we do. Like like how isn't it Germany that does the whole celebration of life instead of a funeral? Something like that. I think so. Yeah, I think so. And then, like the Day of the Dead yeah, in, in Mexico, Mexico, like they'll that's dig a perfect their time to plug this because yeah, this is that style. <laughs> yeah, it's a sugar school, isn't it? Yep. Dude, that that that's that's so cool, man. <laughs> but like, don't they like dig up their dead relatives down there too? Whoa, there is no, there, in Africa. Places, yeah, there's places that do. Is that Africa? Africa? They dig them up. Mm-hmm. I thought it was yeah. the day they dress of the them dead up. They dress uh, them up. No, day of the dead's where you have the ofrenda and you. Um, they do it. The, your <laughs> dead relatives can travel they and dress can visit them up you, and bury them back when they're done. Yeah, it, so so is that Africa? I think it's a, I think it's African country and they like, like dig them up and change the clothes and already on yeah. some crazy topic. Hey, it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Halloween. digging up your, your dead grandma, making her look good, and putting her back in the earth. All <laughs> right, gang, gang. gang. The, <laughs> the, the traditional ritual is called m- m- Manny Money. I probably butchered that. Which takes place in oh my god. <laughs> Pang, Pangala, Pangala, North, T- 
Porridge. I promise I'm not trying to be racist, folks. I'm just stupid. I, I promise here. But they dig up several dead family members, including mm-hmm. their grandmother, great aunt, children, grandchildren, and basically just to pay respects. That's that's More what it boils down to. They dig up certain to. people, so like they just Uncle sit Tom, there, he hang can out go. With them. They hang out with them. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. probably a boring oh, conversation. They like clean them up and make them look. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, are, what are they going to talk about? No. Nope. But uh, it's, it's like they got pictures and videos and everything. For all you weirdos out there that want to look at this, there's Google it. But <laughs> weirdos like me, man. There's somebody that has a cigarette in one of their relatives' mouths and it's <laughs> lighting it. That's oh. the same thing that killed them, and, and you want to do that afterwards. <laughs> Rubbing it in his face. (laughs) See, Uncle Joe, this is is what that smoking gets you. (laughs) Have you another one? It's like Texas Chainsaw Chainsaw when you know the grandpa's there. He's just sitting, chilling. That's what it reminds me of. It makes me think about Buffalo Bill, dude. (laughs) It puts the lotion on the skin. Yeah. Man, this is weird. Like, I'm, I'm kind of getting creeped out, but, like, very interested in these yeah. photos right here, too. I mean, our first album is called Grape Digger, you know? Well, yeah, that's our first album. Ah, oh, that would be cool. You, you could call it. <laughs> so we, we were uh, going to call this one Grave Robber. Ma, ma, and then Grave, <laughs> Walk, Grave Walker was another one. Ma, man, Manini? Manini? I'm butchering that. I'm, I'm not going to. I'm probably disrespecting their entire culture, so I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to stop. But no, I don't care. Do they... they yeah, digging up dead people, dude. I, you know, maybe that's the way to go about it. Like, maybe we should start doing that, dude. Nah. I think that that's a that's a criminal offense in the United States. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah we'll see. Like, uh, what was it? You're not even allowed to own like human remains, like how people used to have the real skeletons and stuff like that. You're not even allowed to have that stuff anymore. Why like, not? Hmm. That um, I can see. That's I don't agree with that. I think if you want to own. <laughs> your 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 dead uncle Bob, and mean? keep him in the garage or wherever. <laughs> you should be able to keep dead uncle Bob in the garage. I mean, you can keep him in an urn. What's the difference? Right there, you Ooh. go. Ooh. There you go. What's BJ the just found a flaw with it. Dang, skeezy the lawyer. Yeah, skeezy bro. the lawyer. <laughs> Think of things, dude. Finding some loopholes in the judicial system. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but really, like, what is the difference? I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that. I'm gonna have to look into that more if I when it, whenever I get the smart enough words to be able to look that up. So, how do y'all want to go out? Since we're just let's get into death here. Let's talk yeah. about death. All right, that's a good topic yeah. for us. Do y'all want to be buried or cremated? What's the way y'all want to go? Probably buried. Buried, buried for real. I always I, said I want to be cremated, bro. I've always said I'm that I didn't want my family it. to waste a lot of money on me. Like wrap me up in a sheet and throw me in a hole and cover me up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, ain't it crazy how much like funerals yeah. and stuff cost nowadays? Yeah, you gotta pay. You gotta pay for stuff your whole life, and you still gotta pay for stuff when you're dead, dude. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not, then it's your family's problem. Yeah, it's like, uh, oh, Uncle I'm Bob sorry, passes, guys. and it's like, uh, I'll just, it uh, Uncle Bob ain't gotta worry about it. We're the ones that have to shell out a few thousand dollars. I think uh, funerals are weird in general, man. I don't yeah. like them. I you know. I I just try to do like the whole celebration of life thing because, yeah. man, like. Whenever I do pass on, I don't want to. I don't want it to be sad. Mm-hmm. Like I don't dude, want anybody to tell anybody. I just want people to be talking. And be like, yeah, I was like, no, he died. <laughs> I, he's gone. <laughs> that way, nobody's sad until the last minute. Well, he ascended. <laughs> just like not don't tell anybody. He's like, hey, where's Zach been? <laughs> <laughs> Bill and Skeezy are sitting there waiting at band practice. Like, has, has anybody seen yeah. Zach? I heard from him. That's what we say. I heard from him. <laughs> yeah, I talked to him. I a talked lot. to him. A lot. I, I'm kind of more like the the the, the cremation route because, dude, like like I just want to be for sure dead. You <laughs> yeah, know? dude, I don't want to be taxidermied pretty much. Well, like, even then, like, how do they know, you know? Like, like whenever you do pass on, like, how do they know you're really dead? I mean, like, like the, the the brain could still be working. Like, I don't know. I just get freaked out about that. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, whenever like, they, they'll they think I'm dead, but, like, I still have some stuff going up here. Nobody knows, lady and nobody knows what's what, after death. What was you know? the yeah, lady at Pikeville, the cemetery, the statue that... Oh. Uh... Dang it. If you want to have said it, then I... Alice, Olivia, Olivia. Olivia. Octavia. Octavia, Octavia Thatcher, right? 
Something like that. I'm so sorry to the family of Olivia. Yeah, no, I can't remember. <laughs> Olivia, Olivia Hatcher, Hatcher, You're so, Hatcher. I'm so sorry to the family. I'm <laughs> so sorry. I don't mean to do this. What are you like, talking about? I feel like there was a period in my life where everybody yeah, in Alex, Pikeville. thank you. Thank you. Octavia Hatcher. 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 Okay. Good deal. We were saying Olivia thank you, Hatcher, Alex. man. Thank you, man. <laughs> But I feel like there was a point in my life a few years ago where there was a big push for everybody to know that little bit of like Pikeville lore. But I feel like a lot of people don't know that or don't remember I'll that know. anymore. Yeah, I don't you know don't know about this. I don't know you don't know about this. this? No. For real, you don't know about yeah, this. This is no. a Halloween episode. Spooky school. Uh, Let's spooky do it. story time. Let's do it. Well, let, let me look it up so like I can for sure get like. I, I don't want to get it. We already out. messed up her name. Is this true? Read yes. the spooky story from a Wikipedia page. It's like this old wives tale. That's true. No, this is yeah, this yeah, is all true, dude. Like her her uh, statue is in Pikeville. Like that, that cemetery you went we'll go to see the other day. Really? She's up there. What is it? You went right it's around a, that statue. Okay. Probably. <clears throat> probably did. Okay, here we go. If, if try not to mess this up. Okay. Octavia Hatcher. We need to like dim the light. Octavia lights. Hatcher. <laughs> That's has some like creepy music under this. I I'll put it in the edit. Maybe, yeah. maybe not. I don't know. I'm lazy. <laughs> Octavia Hatcher was 20 years old when she gave birth to her first child, Jacob. Jacob's kind of a creepy name, but let's move on. Jacob Blackburn. <laughs> uh, in early 1891, Jacob almost immediately died. Octavia sank into a long depression, then a coma. She died, in quotation marks, on May 2nd, 1891. This was during a spell of hot weather so she was quickly buried. And then it was noticed that other people in Pikeville were also falling into swoons, but not dying. So could Octavia be buried alive? An absence of news accounts of this newsworthy event is often cited as its critics as proof that it didn't happen. But Octavia Hatcher wasn't just anybody. She was the daughter of one of Pike County's elite families. Ooh. The Rossburgers. So, her husband, James Hatcher, owned thousands of acres of Pike County land and made his fortune in timber and coal. Octavia's Hatcher, Octavia Hatcher's gruesome fate made for juicy gossip, but actually reporting it could have been seen as bad business decision for local newspapers. Ooh. But, okay, I mean, there's a huge story to this that I'm not going to get into. It'll take forever. But this woman was buried alive. Basically, and didn't and, and, they exhume her or something? Yeah, and there was she had scratch marks and, on the coffin. Yeah. Yo, I did hear about yeah. that. I didn't know that a, was a in year act after Octavia's death. James Hatcher had a life-size marble statue of his wife set atop mm -hmm. her hilltop grave, an expensive gesture for the time. Later, he built the downtown Pike Hotel, choosing a spot where Octavia's marble gaze could always watch over mm -hmm. him. I'm trying to find the part where she's buried alive. I've ever done this article? Isn't there not something doing a good like every job. Halloween, the statue like turns its back on Pikeville or something? It actually or? does. It's so weird. Dude. It actually does turn right. Wait, it's hat. Pink. Wait, wait. What? I've always heard that that every Halloween you can go up there and watch it. Apparently, or something. This could not. It's this is probably right not true. Right. But like the statue, like physically turns around, like turns its back on Pikeville because Pikeville turned its back. I've always heard that. I don't know if it's true. We should all go up there, dude. Set and I don't know a, if it's on like Halloween or the day she died or whatever. It's, it's something like that. They were scratch marks where she on the lid, to crawl out. On the lid, no, her. Uh, That's what I lid. heard too, and I'm trying to like find that to make sure that that is true. Did but I mean, oh, that, it's probably not. But that's that's what I've always heard. That's the yeah. Everybody said that. At, a bell was at the end of it, so that if he la 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 la. la. Yeah, I mean this this article is all over the place. Whoever, roadside America, you did not do a good job. Okay, <laughs> you did not make this easy to read. Because it, it's up there in the cemetery by UPAC, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's still up there. And it's, I mean, could you Im imagine that back then? Like, back in the day, people used to have these uh, the bells tied to yeah. their graves. So that if you did wake up, they heard mm -hmm. the bell and just tried to hurry up and dig yeah, you up bro, as soon as you could. You. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that. I thought Grandma was dead, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, and it happened. And uh, I think she had some type of, like, like they were talking about a, what they say earlier, a, a swoon. But basically, like this type of sickness that, that was going around that puts you into a coma like state mm -hmm. that only lasted a, a little while and then they eventually woke up. And Octavia had that same thing. And that's what happened with her. 
Man, it's really sad. It's ridiculously sad. Yeah. But I, and imagine how many times that happened too. I mean, this is like without knowing, yeah, yeah, yeah. With without knowing, mm-hmm. just like like poor people that couldn't afford the bells or anything like that, and just the people that didn't know. And it was nobody's fault. They didn't. They just no. simply did not know. And man, when I, was this? What was the year? Eighteen do 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 ninety one. May 2nd, 1891. See, I'd heard of that story, but I had no idea it was like a, a local thing. Yeah, right. I say right that's how a lot of like vampire lore got made up. Oh, yeah. You know, like people rise from the dead, the dead and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that. Or zombies. Yeah. Zombies, yeah, that too. Yeah. It, it's it's weird, man. Mm-hmm. And, and these, these mountains can get pretty creepy. I mean, I, who, who knows the folklore that's hidden in this? Wasn't there like a, uh, what was that one thing? The Hillier Goblins. Yeah, yeah. Well, ain't that supposed to be around here yeah. or something like yeah. that? Yeah, it's not not too long That's, from here. Well, I guess yeah. right before you get to Elkhorn Creek, ain't it? Or Elkhorn City. I mean, they like a documentary about You live around there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know a Hillier Goblin. I'm friends with one. He's actually on the show right now. Yeah, bro. What's up? He lives right across from Hillier. For real? Yeah. Have you seen any goblins? I mean, I don't think so, man. I swear. I don't know if they were probably just meth heads walking around. (laughs) (laughs) Probably. I can't really tell. It's it's kind of the same thing. Yeah. Almost the same thing. Is there a type of, like, folklore that y'all believe in? Like like Bigfoot or... Skinwalkers. uh, Skinwalkers or Mothman, stuff like that. Is there anything that y'all believe in? an entire EP about this stuff. (laughs) (laughs) What, Mothman, Pope League, uh, Dogman, Snallygaster... It was our entire first EP. Yeah. There's some weird ones. Mm-hmm. Is there like some though that like y'all legit think exist out there somewhere? I believe in Bigfoot, kinda. What about y'all? Y'all believe in Bigfoot? Yeah, I, I can say. Yeah, I, I kind of believe in it just because it's fun, you know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if I really do. I probably don't. Honestly, I, I've really dived down that rabbit hole of Bigfoot. I think that maybe at one time. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, but I, I just don't know nowadays. Yeah, there, there's this weird thing. I think that it's in India, but they have a uh, supposedly the top of a skull and the hand of a they, yeti. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a big old wow. finger. Yeah, I've seen that too. It's huge. It's mm-hmm. really weird looking. Like, like, I mean, it doesn't look like anything of a normal human. And the uh, monks that are there, I think that's the uh, religious group that protects it, uh, they won't let anybody do any type of scientific mm-hmm. research on it because they call it sacred. So mm-hmm. they won't let anybody <laughs> do anything with it. And But, I mean, dude, you look at that and you're like, ah, that's, oh, no. that's, that's, that's weird looking. It isn't like I, a, a I, Yeti. It's just an albino Bigfoot, isn't it? It's a snow. It's, a snow. <laughs> it's basically some well, snow. Well, it's supposed yeti. to be bigger and it's its own kind of thing. A, a, yeah. pol- a polar Bigfoot instead of a polar bear? It's a polar <laughs> Bigfoot? I, I don't know. I don't know why. When I think of Yetis, all I think of is the, what was this, the Wampa from Star Wars. The, the Wampa, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, when I think of a Yeti, I think of that thing from... Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, dude. Yeah, I think of like the Yeti coolers and stuff nowadays. Like that, that, that's that's ruined it for me. The, the coolers that are, that are way too expensive. I don't. The yeah. thing, the things I really believe exist is like the ocean, like sea monsters. And oh stuff. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Dude. Did y'all see that thing of the giant squid that they uh, found a few years ago? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they like were able to capture one on camera. Yeah, uh, that was that was crazy. I remember that was on TV. Yeah, and, and I don't think they've seen one since. Like that was like the mm-hmm. only time. I believe in a lot of that stuff for fun, but now, like, do I really? I don't know, but, like, uh, a lot of our music videos, you can see the, the cabin we record in a lot. Um, mm-hmm. We go and sp- spend a lot of time up there, and a lot of weird stuff happens up there. So yeah, we're getting a lot, a lot of stories. Because it's, it's been around forever, and it's up in the head of a holler. And what type of weird stuff? There he is, like, pretty commonly, like, if you go up there at night and spend the night, you're and, like, stay out on the porch, you're probably going to see it. Just about every night, there's a lot that, like, it it, almost, it looks like somebody's like got their phone light. light walking like it's you can see it moving back and forth like walking either up the road or down the field toward the cabin. But uh, as soon as like you point it out or you say hey what's that it'll stop and it'll like like they turn their phone down and it goes off and you can go out there and there's nothing there and it happens just about every night. Mm-hmm. It's really weird. weird. And then so we've fog. either got a stalker or right. <laughs> you know that when that fog came through her? Oh, yeah. It, it gets really bad. eerie up there. Yeah. At night. And like that's the only thing that's relatively close, so there's not a lot of light pollution up there. So at night, it's, it's dark. Yeah, I went missing up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's... 
How'd you go missing? Now I have to ask you. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> what you, did you say you went missing? Oh, yeah, yeah. I went missing. Nobody bro. knew where he was. Nobody knew. People thought I died, dude. How'd you, what happened? What happens at the cabin stays at the cabin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to tell that story, honestly. <laughs> they, they found you, and all of a sudden you had a, a new mullet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I came out as a new man, dude. <laughs> I gotta say, dude, the the, the mole looks good. The mole looks you, really man. good. I, I got the follicle fountain, dude. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah, bro, that it, it's it's beautiful, though, man. Mm-hmm. But okay, so ghost. Do y'all believe in them? No, nah, I don't. They yeah, do, I do. I think it's weird. Like I said, I, I want to for the fun of it. Do they? I, but then I've seen some weird stuff that I can't explain. So, see, man, I, I don't, I don't know either, man. I, I'm kind of like fifty fifty in and out. Because like I, I do think that this this life this world is so weird mm-hmm. that I don't think that we are anybody is able to wrap their mind around what's possible okay. in this realm. Yeah, I take that you back because I've never seen a ghost, but I've never not seen a ghost. You know what I mean? Mm. So I don't know. I haven't seen a ghost in the same room. Yeah. See, like I've watched a lot of those like paranormal shows and stuff like that. I would have to go somewhere and physically be there because I know TV magic is so I, I've I, like I want to say I've never home. actually seen proof but like, a bunch of weird stuff happens up at the cabin See, it really does I, I don't know if they, like it can exist in a like a physical form but I do believe in energy mm-hmm. but, yeah. like, like I know that like I know that exists for a fact scientists yeah, can measure that mm-hmm. and, and you know like you, like you just get vibes from people yeah. and places like and stuff like you, that yeah I, yeah so I mean, like, I don't, I, and I don't know if there's like a real difference between the two. I don't know, they man. All, I Who think knows? It, that all exists in one, a different dimension. It does, I think. Yeah, like, who knows, man? This life is weird. It, but you know, I, I've kind of, I've lived in some, you know, places that people have said that were haunted and stuff like that, and I've kind of felt some weird stuff that I can't explain. Who knows, man? What's the is it, is it not a hotel, but it's the house you can stay in that's impactful there by the, is it the Hilton or whatever? The It's behind the Hilton. The Oh, yeah. That, that's uh, supposed to be haunted. I think it's blue. Or, I didn't know that was haunted. Everybody says it is. And I've gone by there a couple times and like the rockers be moving and there'd be nobody around, but wind could do that. But it was, it, it's weird. I've seen a bunch of weird stuff. But. Yeah. And, and, and too, I've seen some weird stuff on the internet, but you never know, like especially like on the internet because that can be edited or whatever exaggerated but yeah you, yeah you you never know you never know i think that the real ghosts and the real monsters are here on earth you know you can like they're politicians yeah, yeah for real. really yeah. <laughs> oh gosh dude, my dad has seen some ghosts dude he has i swear he has what is like what has he said he's seen i remember one time when i was a little kid told him to make me a grilled cheese bro and we were in the living room, and I was just sitting there. I was like, oh, make me a grilled cheese. I was like four. Mm-hmm. He went in the kitchen to make it, and uh, he said he saw me run through the hallway to go to the bathroom. But just like in the corner of his eye, he saw me as a child run in the hallway. And he looked in there, and he said, what are you doing, bub? I'm making you a grilled cheese. And when he turned around, I was still sitting there on the couch, dude. He was like, who was that little boy? Sure, your dad wasn't drinking or anything. <laughs> nah, <bro. laughs> nah, nah. So we had went somewhere. <laughs> we had went somewhere one night, and we're coming back up to the cabin, and like two or three of our buddies stayed up there, and two or three of us left. Um, oh yeah, that's it. They were like up on the hill hiding. They were going to scare us mm-hmm. whenever we got there, and we come up the hill. And when you start up the hill, you can see the cabin. And I was, I think, I was driving. And we come up, and we saw one of them take off and run in the porch and run into the cabin and shut uh, the door behind jump them. Jump flat-footed. Up yeah. on the- jump up on the porch and run in the cabin and slam the door behind them. And then we got there, and then our three buddies come out from the hills and scared us. And it's like, wait, who just went in the cabin? And there was nobody else up there, and nobody was in the cabin. It was really weird. That was weird, You need to come man. hang out in the cabin. We, we it sounds like that. I need to go up there, dude. I, I want to check this place no. out. There was a bunch of Native American stuff up there, like Ooh. stuff. And Jerry, there's a statue. Our, our buddy Jerry knocked off a statue, and it broke and hit the floor. And I swear, stuff started happening after that. But we took all that Native American stuff out of there, and it's kind of died down. Where did you, you put the Native American stuff? Uh, it's in a like a box trailer that's 
At the, like, is that like legit Native American stuff? Well, what, what it, do it have? was like decoration stuff, like oh, a headdress okay. thing. And, and there's a like cowboy dang, mix that we still got. Yeah. It's like these dang white people with their <laughs> dream catchers. <laughs> we'll show them. Uh, you know, like the, the weirdest encounter that I've ever had, like supernatural wise, I guess, was with the Ouija board. Ooh. Like, dude, I don't know about ghosts or any of that other stuff, but man, like, Still to this day, I won't go anywhere near Ouija board. Really, dude? Well, I've, I've never always done it. wanted the I don't want to stay away from that stuff, dude. Oh my. Okay, so like me and one of my buddies, <clears throat> and like like this is all legit, true. I, I promise on everything. But me and him, uh, he moved into a new house, and we found one there. Oh god, which is which is, which is already worse. yeah, which is which is all which is that's already a red flag. Dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, well, the the people that lived in the house before they were kind of, you know, like them type of people like just kind of weird you know so it wasn't like too weird for us to find a Ouija board but still it's just the beginning of a horror movie yeah, right like there. It's yeah, perfect. Really, yeah like weird family moves out of house <laughs> finding a Ouija board there so, so one night like we just got drunk and was just messing around with it you know and we just stayed up all night trying to get stuff to happen you know and nothing happened nothing happened that night just no, nothing no weird vibes, no, no nothing weird. The next day, we wake up, and that's where the weird stuff starts happening. We like I'm in the bathroom, and I hear this like loud banging on the other side of the wall where the kitchen is. Mm. And I go in there, and my buddy was in his bedroom that's on the other side of the bathroom. There was nobody over there. And like I didn't flush the toilet. It wasn't none of the pipes or nothing like that. It sounded like somebody was like legit banging. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we said, okay, that's kind of weird. And then just a, sometime later on that day, like his whole trailer started shaking. We thought it was going to cave in. We <laughs> Dude, legit so thought weird. it was going to cave in. So we ran outside because we were like legit thought we were about to die. And as soon as we get on the front step, everything stops. Like everything. Just like suddenly stops hmm. as soon as we hit that first step. And, dude, I had nightmares <laughs> for two weeks straight. Like every single night I had a terrifying nightmare and we tried to uh give it away you know the uh the ouija board at one time and we gave it to this one chick I feel like that's something you're not supposed to do supposed like to, yeah. <laughs> well, well she came back like a few <laughs> days later and gave it back because she said she didn't want it like it was freaking her out so, so so it came back and we you eventually I think, it either. I think we like burned it or something yeah, that's you're supposed the, to crack the the crystal in the middle of the glass and rip it in four pieces burn it and bury it that's what you're supposed to do. For real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't know you knew this much about Ouija board, sir. I should have. I should have been hitting you up ten years Dude, ago. This man knows. Bill, Bill is man. our resident like advisor on all things. Like, ask him how to get rid of a skinwalker. How do you get rid of a skinwalker? Well, you're supposed. Okay. <laughs> well, a skinwalker. You see, they take skin, right? And yeah. what they do, they have weakness to silver. And corn dust. And what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to mix that, and put it in your windowsill because they come through your window. And that's supposed to ward them off. And we did that and we've not had a problem since. Wait, wait. Cabin. <laughs> wait, what are you supposed to put in the window now? Corn pollen and silver dust. Yes. How, who's the genius that figured that out? You know, do they just keep putting stuff in their window until something <laughs> finally worked? They're like, oh, onions just, don't do it. Listen, I just do what. So funnily People's enough, been done for years. if you go up to the cabin, there's a little box in the window, and it's got silver dust and corn pollen. <laughs> What's corn pollen? Uh, you know, like corn stalks, you know that? On top of it when it blooms? Yeah. It's like kind like of the, fuzzy. Yeah. Yeah, you take it off, mix it with corn, to, uh, with silver dust. And What's silver go. dust? Ground up silver. Whoa. Man, you know, some of these like old like the the old <clears throat> the old traditions that kind of figured that stuff out, mm-hmm. you never know. Right. I mean, they were a lot more in touch with the world and yeah. you know, reality itself than we are nowadays. Mm-hmm. So I mean, who knows? I like to do this a lot on Turtle Cat, but how did we get here? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. This is why I love having y'all guys up here. Because we just <laughs> Just shoot the stuff. We need know? to do this again, like before Halloween or something, and find somewhere that's supposed to be haunted, and let's set up and do this there. I've been <laughs> wanting to go to that, uh, what was that one? Waverly Hills. Waverly Hills. That's yes. the one everybody I talks about. I would love to go there, dude. Mm-hmm. Dude. I be, dude, I want to be, I want proof, dude. I want something to touch me. 
See, like that, that that's that's what I need to like really believe that, you know? Like I, I need to experience <laughs> yeah. it firsthand. It would scare I, me to death, but I just I don't know. I'll I believe it then. <laughs> yeah, I just like I can't get behind it right now. And I wanna be one of those people that believe, but I just I don't I, I believe one hundred percent. No, like mm. I can believe in lizard people before I, I believe in like ghosts and stuff like that. No, I don't believe in anything like that. I believe in aliens, though. Yeah, then I you believe yeah. in reptilians, then too, don't you? What? You believe see, in reptilians? See, that's why I think lizard people could be a thing. See, I, but like, I don't. I'm not saying lizard yeah. people are a thing. I, I'm not that far down the rabbit hole. I'm just saying yes. there's like there's there's a chance that it no. could be. Bro, you then you go. Know. Then you go into like the Anunnaki and stuff and all that stuff. Crazy. Yeah. The planet. Yeah. I went through like all that stuff. Dude, and he bit, had a mental breakdown one time over conspiracies. Because I researched so much. Okay, <laughs> and it drove me nuts. Dude, it can. No, it it, it down, legit dude. can. I went crazy. He started crying. I didn't know what to do. Well, dude, I, I've uh, met I've met some people, man. Like you, I love this saying: you can be so open minded that your brain falls out. Yeah, oh, I, that's cool. I mm. love I love that saying. Yeah, because like I've met some people, man, that like are way too far down the rabbit hole, and you can just tell that it's that's overtaken me. their oh, life. Okay. Yeah. And and I used to be that way, man. I looked into. Everything. Dude, I used to fall in this weird internet rabbit hole. It's about like the dark web and stuff. Like dude. CERN and all that. Oh, that stuff well, freaks me out. Yeah, and, and but I've just got to the point now where I know that like the the powers that be, they they're, they're going to win. You know, mm-hmm. if Hillary Clinton is a lizard person, then I mean she's just going to keep being a lizard person. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm not right. I'm not going to do anything about that. Bohem- That's how I am. Yeah, like Bohemian Grove, it's going to keep going. You yeah. know, I'm not going to be able it's to do keep anything going to about anti- that. So that's why I just I, I had to let it go, it, cause it's it's really bad for your mental health after a while. But it is so fun mm-hmm. to look into all mm-hmm. of it, though, man. It it's so fun. I like the Mandela effects, though. That drove me nuts. Dude, that made me freak out, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, dude the, the, I, the, the the way the Bearskin Bears is spelled. That's yeah. that's. I'll I, tell you one that freaked me and him out like years ago. Do you remember? Remember the old Disney intros on oh, VHS, shoot. dude? That, that's what made me upset. Dude, I about had a heart attack when I realized. What yeah. happened with that? Dude, do you remember like... Chills. <laughs> do you remember like, the old Disney intros and it would be like a little castle yeah. and Tinkerbell would hit that little top? Yeah. And that dog ain't real. That never happened, dude. Bull. Dude, no, no, look it real. up, bro. No, dude. That, I remember. No. I remember hitting it, dude, and like stuff coming out. Yeah. That never happened. I swear, dude. Look no, it up. No, no, no. <laughs> See, this is... Tanker, top in Tanker Damn Bell. it. <laughs> it's fan, fans made it, though. It's fan made have made it. But it's never happened, like, in the movies. Intro, Disney intro, Tinker Bell. Mandela Effect. I'm not going to look at Mandela Effect. That's what the government wants you to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Original. Yeah. Wait. There's one right here that, that sa- it, sa- it says non non Mandela affected though, so I mean, what the hell, man? y'all yeah, messed my bro, mind up, dude. dude. <laughs> no, it never existed, dude. It, there's fan made stuff, but it there, there's fan made stuff of people that remember it. And they tried to recreate it, what they remembered, but see, that's why I think like some of these are right here. It is. I dude, looked everywhere for it. Dude, what? <sighs> That's weird, what man. What up, dude? No, that, Monopoly, no, I, I, dude. Yeah. He, he has a little monocle. Yeah. He ain't got one, dude. Who, the The Monopoly guy. <laughs> well, see, that one is like, you're just being primed to that one because the Pringle or the Planter's Peanut, I think, has one. So you're used to but the, the top Monopoly hat the guy monocle. did, too, didn't Yeah, dude. I, I, I don't ever remember the Monopoly guy having one, I don't think. I do, dude. He never had one. I remember it playing his day. Yeah, he has some on here. Wait. Fun fact, the Monopoly man has never had a monocle. <laughs> but look up the planter's peanut, it does. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I know the, the planter's peanut does. So I think a lot of people just associate the top hat with the monocle and assume. Yeah, but I still well, do. That's I... a little bit racist. <laughs> 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 that's racist to what, what race does. That's have. racist against the 1% because the 1% is a race. Mm. Ooh, I, I like that. <laughs> Dude. That that's freaking me out. The whole Disney thing. I was trying to find it. It drove me crazy because I saw. I for it. sure seen that. I it know that you, I seen yeah, that. It makes you question. It makes you question your existence. Well, and reality. Yeah, it just yeah. I, I, that's it right there. It makes you question reality. 
Yeah. I mean, like, I do that all the time. Because yeah. you know, who knows, man? Like, like I said, I'm not smart enough to have any idea what is really going on in life and the di- like different dimensions and stuff like that. Like, I know I've they proved they existed that. and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm just not smart enough to understand that. Yeah. But like, what if somehow, some way, we jump dimensions somehow? That reminds me, I don't me, know. Dude. And parallel universes and all that. Yeah. It's I, I, crazy. I believe that kind of parallel universe. Who knows, man? But dude, that... You can wake up one morning and not even realize that it could be different. Yeah, like, how, how do you know, you know? You don't. Because dreams are weird. Well, see, there's a lot of this stuff. Like, have you ever heard of Last Thursdayism? That mm-hmm. religion that the universe could have been created last Thursday and all your prior knowledge of the universe could have been implanted. The, Wait, What? It's the last Thursdayism is a religion, which it. it's kind of one of those making fun of religions that it's like the universe and everything in it could have been made last Thursday, and all your prior knowledge before last Thursday was also created and fabricated, and put. Whoa, dude! Some of those like some of those religions like that that like start out as a joke. Sometimes like the end. flying spaghetti monster. Yeah, yeah. The, the flying spaghetti monster. There's one uh, uh, about Obama. Some people believe Obama is Jesus. There's the Jedi one. The, the, the Jedi one. Uh, the the dude from the Big Lebowski. There's yeah. a religion about that. Oh, the dude. Yeah, yeah. and uh, Scientology. Uh, Googleism. Mm. Yeah, Googleism is a is a real legit. Uh, what is that? Uh, it's people think that Google is the closest thing to an actual god that we have. Like an all-knowing thing, but even then, hey, uh, I'll type in some stuff on Google and it says no results found. So, <laughs> yeah. mm, there, yeah, Scientology though, that's that that that's that's a cult in itself, right there. Yeah, they most people think like Tom Cruise is Jesus. I don't know. Yeah, some, <laughs> the big Lebowski dude. When we were talking dude, about ghost stories, I was trying to find it. I found it a long time ago, and now I can't. But there's a video somewhere. Of the Hampton here in Pikeville, like the lobby uh-huh. of like a, supposedly a ghost in the lobby of the Hampton, where like someone like oh, did, like was it on video and yeah. it, like walked out the door? I seen yeah. that, and I, I tried looking for it and I can't find it. Maybe it's another Mandela effect, dude. I I, I rem- <laughs> now I remember seeing that remember for seeing sure. I remember seeing that, mm. man. <laughs> I don't know about all that now, but you know, like like, like legit. Who knows? I wonder if they'll like ever have technology that can detect like other realms or parallel yeah, universes. That. The, uh, in Geneva, Switzerland, have you heard of CERN? Mm-hmm. Like the large, the hadron, large collider. hadron collider. That's that's trying uh, to find that too, dark matter. There's something called delta wave or something, and with that, there's this big computer, and they can detect stuff like that. What you were talking about. I wonder how they can detect it, though. You know, there's they're, a website called getting, it's the Large Hadron Collider. It's not, of the world yet. Uh-huh. Have you ever went there? Well, I've went to the website, but I know like the it's quantum one physics. thing you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I, w- I wish I was smarter so there I could like too, un- understand this stuff. I just sit here and I act like I'm understanding, but I really don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't even know how to spell Hadron Collider. I don't even know how to say it. Like, okay, example is like there's this teacher one time who put like he had a cat. And he put a box on top of it and said, do you know if there's a cat in there or not? And people's like, well, yeah, but you don't because you can't see it, right? So you don't really know. <laughs> and then you take the box off and there, there it is. It's in a different dimension, right? It's like a different place. But like, but a, but how, but how dimensions can exist in different dimensions. Pocket though, dimensions, too. yeah. Dude, this is what good. about? This is not noon. Okay, just, it, is, it is still the AM right let's, now. Let's just do this. Are we in a simulation? You never know, man. Maybe that, you kind of talked about that last time, dude. I, there was there's this study that I seen somewhere that I'm st- way too stupid to understand, but it basically explained how everything in the world is mathematics somehow. Mm. You know, like even a tree. It's like a coding. Yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's basically what they're saying. Like, like everything yes. has its own genetic code to it, and that's what some people use to get a little bit of traction going on the whole uh, s- simulation theory. It's just created by, I think, higher intelligence. You know. Well, yeah. see, the Who thing knows? the thing about it is is like. If we live in a simulation, then probably the goal of that simulation is for us to be able to create our own simulations. So you have simulations in simulations. So it's like 
we don't have that technology yet. We can't create a simulation. We can't simulate something that thinks it's actually real. See, I think we Egypt, can't. I think Egypt got there one time. We can't then, truly create artificial intelligence. We can't make something think and know on its own mm-hmm. to the extent of creating a simulation like if we're in one. So, do you think it can get to that point though? Because maybe. like some of them AI bots, man, are getting very intelligent. Maybe, but the thing is, so we're not there yet. So that means we're either the first one and we haven't created a simulation yet or we're the last one so someone created us and we haven't got to that point yet so if there's infinitely many simulations in between us what's the chances that we're the first or the last I feel like I'm stoned right now. <laughs> well, you said, like, it's, the AI I, bots for me look real. I don't know if I can say this on the podcast but like you know the <laughs> the SEX dolls be looking real dude. <laughs> <laughs> but they do. They look That's real. That's the thing, man. They, they look real. Do I watched a Viceland piece on that, and they have like legit brothels yeah, in, in right. places for really? real. Yeah, legit. I did not know that. Robot brothels. That yeah. is a thing, and do that's messy. You, you, I mean, well, there's this one like really famous AI woman that uh, is is not that, but oh, okay. Uh, I, f- I forget what her name is, but dude, I, like they put a wig and everything on her, and I mean, it looks like a legit person. It's well, so weird. I hate that. It, it, Did you see the Elon Musk Tesla bots thing? Yeah. Now that that looks we're, like we're, iRobot right there. See, that, that's the that's the type of robots I can see like legit taking over. But the what world. was that he said? He said like that they. Uh, you, he said you can like. I'm probably I'm paraphrasing this. So I don't know the actual quote, but he actually said something along the lines of like. You can probably outrun them, and you should be able to overpower them. Should, should, <laughs> should. I don't like robots, man. I don't. I'm just glad that Will Smith is still around because if if, if stuff ever hits the fan, yeah. he is our only hope. Mm-hmm. But, but what happens when the Tesla bots start building their own Tesla bots that we can't outrun? Tesla we bot can't. factories. Well, that see that's something that happened. They had like these two. Uh, I think it was two computers or something. I, I have to look into it. But, um, they were talking back and forth. And yes, and, and eventually yeah. they shut themselves down, mm-hmm. and they couldn't get them to get back going. They like made their own. Yeah, they made their, their own, own language, and were talking yeah. in a way we couldn't understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me. Uh, yeah. I think I can look this up the right way. Okay. Did you just hold that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to type in every single word. I'm trying to remember where this. What? It better not be no Mandela it effect was, stuff. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> oh, I, I, I remember. <laughs> This it was at some kind of conference or something, right? And they would. What like, would you guys do if it, it didn't even happen? It did, because I know makes a full circle. Dude, I I could have been sure I seen that Tinkerbell thing, and now Dude, that that too, apparently bro. my life is a lie. Uh, yeah, I, know I see it perfect. She hits it, and it sparkles come out. Little yeah. magic wand. Okay, here so it is. Weird. Facebook's artificial intelligent robots shut down after they start talking to each other in their own language. Of course, it's Facebook. Mark yeah. Zuckerberg, that dude. Like, like okay, if, any, I, if anybody's a reptile, it's Mark Zuckerberg. It's Mark Zuckerberg. That that dude, he just does not look. I mean, straight up right. Straight up about scales. I think that he was real at one time, and then they like just replaced him oh, with like a, a robot or something. Because like you see like earlier videos of him, he looks normal. He's just a normal dude. He's so creepy. But then like if you like go back, I think it was last year when he had to testify to Congress or something like that. I mean, he, that's not how humans react. No, dude, he mm. was acting real weird. <laughs> I know he was. And people was like, "Oh, he's just antisocial." Boy, the dude no, went to dude. college. Like he was like a, he had to do a lot of. He prayed to stand. Thousands of people, yeah, like hundreds of people. He's like he he created social media. Yeah, yeah he's a very social he's like person. The third most richest person. He in the world. created social media. He has social anxiety. Which wasn't <laughs> wasn't Facebook created? Over, it wasn't. I, I really remember reading sometime. It was kind of like a malicious thing. It wasn't a well, like well, social media platform. It, it was. It had a different beginning. Yeah. Like, well, what? the video, I mean, not the video, the movie that they made about it, the Social Network. Apparently, like, it all started off as kind of like just a way to uh, get chicks, you yeah. know? Like, it was more almost like Tinder than Facebook. Really? You could, like, rate people on oh, there. Zuckerberg and out, is out here, man. Yeah, it, that's, that's how Facebook started out. But here's oh, the uh, thing about bad. the two chatbots. 
So Facebook abandoned an experiment after two artificially intelligent programs appeared to be chatting to each other in a strange language only they understood. The two chatbots came to create their own changes to English that made it easier for them to work, but which reminded mysteri- which remained mysterious to the humans that supposedly looked after them. The bizarre discussions came as Facebook challenged its chatbots to try to negotiate with each other over a trade, attempting to swap hats, balls, and books, each of which were given a certain value. But they quickly broke down as the robots appeared to chat at each other in a language that they only they understood and appears mostly incomprehensible to humans. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> and, and they actually got like some of the script, too, of, of the uh, robots chatting back and forth to each other. That's really weird. That's the thing, man. I mean, like, you, it, it's it's like you're opening up a war. Like, like it's, yeah. You're opening up a door that can't be closed. Dude, I used to think, I think Cleverbot was weird, bro. I, I think that? it can get possessed or something by some kind of force or energy. Yeah. I really do. I, the, that, that's possible or just kind of... If you can give something a mind of its own, the mind mm-hmm. is a very powerful thing. And, and technology, too, is just, I'm not smart enough to understand it, but I mean, they made two robots that were able to make a language of their own, start talking to each other, That's... and then shut themselves down. Like, That's... And and we are just at the like, like the tipping point. We barely got that door cracked open right there, and like they're doing stuff Ultron. like that. Yeah, and Ultron can have a mind of his own and be able to char- plug himself into the wall to give himself a charge, swap his own batteries out. I mean, like... Pull out a pack of cigarettes or something. Or run on biomatter, yeah. you know, because they talked about doing that, too. Uh, a robot that runs on, like, matter, like human, like, or matter. Now, that's, see, <laughs> sure. that's the type of stuff that they don't need to be doing. Well, they abandoned that patent. The military was going to do that. See, they they say they abandoned it. Yeah, you know, like like if if I was military, I would want human eating robots. Mm-hmm. That would be like <laughs> it like, ran like, on the corpses, like it ate the like it broke it down and it ran on it. That's this was it, like a legit thing. Yeah, they. I don't know if it built it or not. <laughs> Rob, matter eating robots, military. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it really is legit, about? man. I know we get on these things. Ma- how did we go? See, that, that's the that's the Ma- thing, man. Like, like people Bio think matter. that we're just like talking out of our heads and stuff like that. But the thing that I just read about the two robots, that's, that's real. Knowledge. That is that, that, that actually people need to happened. know about that, dude. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even know that. Okay, I, they have a Wikipedia page about these dang things. Energetically, okay. Well, I found an article anyway. Military researchers develop corpse-eating robots. From the file marked, evidently, many scientists have never seen even one scary sci-fi movie. The Defense Department is funding research into battlefield robots that power themselves by eating human corpses. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that sounds awful. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, that's weird. And I, and actually the actual I thought you were playing around, of, man. No. The actual blueprints that shows them stuff. They eat cool. Researchers yeah, seen on biomatter. <laughs> that's metal. <laughs> no, that's pretty metal, bro. <laughs> yeah. What the metal apocalypse? <laughs> that's yeah. <some> metal. <laughs> Man, it, it, like I love that show. It's a weird world we live in, boys. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That's why, I like, I don't put anything out of the realm of possibility I don't remember anymore. if I wore my battle vest or not last time I was on the show. I've got it out in the truck. I don't know. I've, I've, got a, I've actually got a death clock patch on my vest. That's dope. <laughs> they're supposed to be, and they were supposed to be, like, making a movie about no! that or something really? like that. A death know clock that. movie? They don't know that. They need to make Aqua Teen Hunger Force come back. Yeah. Man, Adult Swim are stupid nowadays. They took Family Guy off Adult Swim. Yeah. Hmm. Well, and even Seth MacFarlane's acting weird nowadays. Really? Yeah, he's scared to joke about certain things. It's stupid. Really? Family Guy ain't what it used to be. But, boys, unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap this up. This has been a crazy yes. podcast. It's always crazy. So, it's always crazy. It's always. So, this, so if this is coming out on Halloween. We should have an album coming out is on it, Halloween. Well, like, legit... October thirty first. Yes, that, that's, that's cool. I think that's when we originally wanted to do Grave Digger, and we ended up we wanted it out sooner. I think yeah. it was solely because we were going to come on here and we wanted it out when we were on here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But uh, let's see, what was it? October thirty first. 
Should have about ten songs on it. We got most of them done. We got a bunch of we got a bunch of songs. We just got to pick which ones we want on it. Yeah. Um, probably going to be called Novus Voltus. And, 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 and like I said, this title's still undetermined at this point, but that's a cool name. Right, can I plug stuff real quick? <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, y'all y'all plug this. anything y'all want to plug. <laughs> All right, dude. Check out my skeezy stuff. Drop a new album here soon, dude. <laughs> I like the Shrek video that you made, by the way. The on Shrek? your YouTube? Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got way too much time on your hands, I bro. I know, bro. <laughs> uh, check out Sounds of Soulless, bro. Black Metal Project. Mm-hmm. Uh, check out dude, Trials of Terror. Check out Ghost Pilot. <laughs> I'm in so many projects, hey, dude. Hey, we, we do it every time. You check out Mirror Image. Check out Mirror Image. <laughs> check out my buddy Rod Casebo, man. I love that guy. And check out the mullet, too. Check out the mullet, boys. Hey, we're, Turtle we're, Cat. We're going, we're going to start it back. We're starting it back. Man, we, I've been missing Turtle Cat. We cancel Cat. it, and we start it back like four or five times a year. Yeah. I, dude, I legit enjoy it. Like y'all, the editing that y'all do on those things, <laughs> it's it, it's beautiful. It really is. So that that should be coming back soon, hopefully. But boys, thank y'all. Y'all are awesome. I'm thank really you. looking forward to the new album. <laughs> Every word is a masterpiece of a song. Thank, thank you. you. And I really appreciate. Hey, it. thank y'all for the good music, boys. Oh, of course, man. Very well. And ladies and gentlemen, happy Halloween. We'll see you next week. Boom. Ooh, yeah.